I appreciate you seeing me at such short notice. Well, I wouldn't be doing my job if I turned away someone concerned about the safety of one of my patients. Now, on whose behalf are you here? An old friend of mine. And yours, Amanda Clark. May she rest in peace. Who are you? Well, it's not of your concern, but what I imagine hasn't escaped your notice is the truth about her father. Conrad Grayson should pay for what he did, don't you think? Oh, well, yes. Of course. As should everybody involved. But I think you know why I'm here. You want Victoria? I know you locked Amanda away in exchange for an a career. So I want the promise of your testimony. Anything else you have, and I want it now. I have records. I'll go get them. He's all yours. Please forgive my tardiness. I know how sacred afternoon tea is to you, Brits. What have you done? Just level the playing field. I knew that Emily would send you here to do her dirty work. You really did pick the wrong girl to fall in love with. Go to hell. You must hate feeling so vulnerable and manipulated, much the way you made me feel after you moved into our house at the beginning of summer. Well, summer is finished, Mr. Mathis. And once that toxin leads to paralysis, so are you. Do it! Emily ripped away my chance for true love. It's only fair that I do the same for her. And who win? Loyal to the bitter end. It's a beautiful sentiment. And an even better epitaph. Goodbye, Mr. Mathis. Goodbye.